day four of your opulent self my gosh how quick has this week gone hasn't it just flown by it's incredible what happens when you're in wonderful company and I'd like to acknowledge and thank every single one of you for showing up you promised me on Monday that you would show up every single day to make a difference in your life and you've done that and, you know, I'm so touched. I don't think one of these programs ever goes by where I just don't feel emotional and, and, and touched by you guys because of the incredible work and commitment and energy that you put into this. And I'd like to acknowledge every single one of you and I'd like to thank you for your energy, for your commitment to you. And also thank you for your beautiful, beautiful messages. My God, what a gorgeous group that we have during this Your Opulent Self. Don't you agree? Tell me if you agree with me. Have you made friends with any, anyone in the group? How have you been feeling? Tell me how you've been feeling in the past few days. Has something changed for you? You know, I've received quite a few messages from you. Thank you so much. Acknowledging my incredible success advisors, Joe and Colette. 
I think they deserve a big round of applause. Thank you to incredible Jo who works tirelessly. She's got two kids. She's up at 5 o'clock in the morning, sometimes goes to bed at midnight, would you believe, because she loves to serve. She loves what she does and she loves to be with you all. And Colette from New Zealand who has a full-time senior management job and is here to serve also. So thank you, a big shout out to my incredible team, my incredible success advisors who are tirelessly helping you all. Thank you, Joe. thank you, Colette. And if you haven't had your sessions with your, one, your success advisors, it is not too late to do that. Please, please, please make sure you're connected with them because I'm gonna add a couple of bonus sessions. So Monday and Tuesday of next week, we have something very, very special for you all. But these recordings that you've got that are up in the guide section and, and the service that my success advisors provides to you is only going to be available for the duration of the program. So they're only available to you until next Tuesday to this extent because we have such a large community of clients who deserve our time and attention that we serve. Um, they've made a decision, they've invested money and time into themselves and, and we need to divert our attention um, to them. But you've got, you know, the support that you need for your opulent self by jo, from Joe and Colette. So please connect, connect with them. I love it that you're sending me questions too. Please, please, please continue to do that. And who in this group has written their your opulent self-image, your self-image description? Who has done that? Say self-image me, yes. Self-image me, yes, I've done it. Self-image, I've done it. Let me know who you are. So I've received quite a few of your self-image scripts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I've promised you that I'm gonna look through them and give you some feedback, okay? I don't normally do that. The first time I did that was the last Your Opulent Self. Um, I just don't have the capacity because we have a huge community that we serve. Um, but I will do that for you again as a result of you participating in this Your Opulent Self. If you're a client, you get that anyway, right? We spend so much time on self-image, don't we, guys? Isn't it incredible, the work that we do um, on self-image? I also want to congratulate some incredible people that have said yes to themselves as a result of Your Opulent Self. These are the winners. These are the people that get long-term results. I want to congratulate the incredible Pamela Hansen, Diana Lechner, Lisa Gordon, Macy Goodbear, Maddie White, Jenny Prosuma and her husband Tony, Dee, Mark Heinsen, Benisa Mapule from South Africa. Look at all these people that have said yes to themselves. Kylie Kirvin, Matthias from Finland, Angie Spawn, who's with us today. And I think Kylie's here too. I thought I saw her name um, come up. Big, big, massive congratulations. All of these people have said yes to, to really changing their life. And today we're going to talk about decision, okay? Now this session is not going to be comfortable for some of you, okay? But what did I say the other day that you know, I, I, if I'm making you comfortable all the time, I'm not going to be doing my job. So I'm going to ask you some key questions. And this is going to distinguish the people that make the real change and the long term change to the people that just want to feel good and get the information. And wherever you are, that's absolutely okay. Some of you are here just to feel good, get some new information and not make the permanent changes. And that's okay too. We absolutely love you, okay? But those of you that are really serious about changing your life, that really want to make some permanent changes in their lives, those of you that are ready, that are ready to jump, those of you that are ready to face their fears and be a winner, well, this is a session for you, okay? Because it's one thing to attend a free course, and it's another thing to actually really make changes in your life. Now, if you go on my website page, if you look 
you know, in the Millionaire Roundtable Facebook group, there's testimonial after testimonial after testimonial of people changing their lives, of people I have had just in the past year, four people that have become first-time millionaires. One of those clients, she started off in May last year and after a call with me, she knew that she had to work with me. She knew she had to work with your two minds. She shared in May this year, just before she finished up her one-year coaching program. Um, so she shared with our group that when she started in May last year, her husband and her could not pay the mortgage. They did not have enough money coming in to pay the mortgage. But, but... She was a winner. She knew the D word. What's the D word? D word is decision. And we're going to go into decision. And she made a decision to work with me. And then I do a money. I've got some money webinars that I do exclusively for my clients. It's incredible what can happen to you when you learn about money. So shortly after she started working with me, she wrote down on a piece of paper that by the end of the 12 months, she's going to have $20,000 in her savings. And, you know, a couple of weeks later, as she started to see even more change in herself, she said, no, I'm going to trust Susanna. Susanna knows that this has worked. I can see it's worked in her life. I'm going to put 200000 down. So she put 200000 down. And then shortly after that, I had a goal that I'm not just going to, you know, help people achieve dreams. I want to create millionaires. I want to create people that that want to understand money and wealth and abundance and having it with ease and flow. So I made an announcement. I did a crazy thing and I did a Facebook Live. I made an announcement to the world. I jumped and I said, you know, my, my purpose has become to create five millionaires in the next year. And this woman sent me a message immediately after that. She said, Susanna, I'm going to be your first millionaire. I said, okay, let's do this. April this year, she sent me a photo of her bank statement. Guess how much money she had in her savings account? She had exactly $208,000. $208,000 in her savings account from not even being able to pay the mortgage. And then she was finishing up in May, her 12 months was up, and she shared in the group coaching program. She just, you know, thanked everyone. She wanted to say a few words and she said, I just want to let you know that I'm leaving this program with over $1 million in my bank account. So I share that story with you because one, if one person can do it, you can too. And in actual fact, we've had four and the fifth one is coming up shortly. She just said she's made her first 200000 from nothing. She shared that in the Monday session that I, that my, my Monday, the one Monday that just went by. So what do you want for your life? For you, it might not be the one million. But I'm hoping the past three days, because I've taken you on a journey, on a journey of a simple formula that has worked for me. And we started with what do you want clarity? We went into your paradigms and your mind and self-image. And the final part of the formula is the D word, decision. You see, we're not taught to make decisions. So what we start to do, we don't understand anything about ourselves and what decision-making, real decision-making is and what it can do for you. So what happens is all of our life, we live our life asking other people, what do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? And 
In 2017, 31st of January, January 31st, 2017 was my very last day in full-time employment. And I jumped, I made a decision and I was $500,000 in debt, $500,000 in debt. But I had Bob Proctor's voice in my mind. He did not know me back then. By the way, guess who has said hello to all of you? I just jumped off a, off a training of hundreds of people from, um, from you know, Bob Proctor's um, organisation where I was training them and I also briefed Bob about all of you and how incredible you're doing. And he was very, very proud of all of you. But I remember him saying, and it would just, it was going into my mind over and over and over again. Winners make decisions quickly and they change them slowly. Losers make decisions slowly and they change them quickly. So you've now got a choice. You can take what you've learnt up until now and feel good and start to make excuses about your life. So you've learnt something about yourself. You know, you might be feeling good, which I hope you are. That's wonderful. And you might just leave and just start making excuses Oh, I, I, yeah, I couldn't achieve my goal because of this, because of that. Whereas the real winners make a decision. What is a decision? A decision means that it is done. Full stop. It is done. Who here has made a decision? Let me know. I have made a decision. This is it. Let me know in the chat box. Let me know that you're awake and that you have made a decision, that you're a winner. Show me. Show me who you are. Come on. Show me who you are. Oh, we don't have some, we don't have me. Dre has said me, 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 me. So Dre has said he's going to change. That's it. Who else? Who's made the decision? Or have you decided just to leave and... Do nothing about it. I have made a decision, Tiffany says. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Big time. Angie is a friggin' big time winner. I'm telling you now. Angie was where you were at the your op last Your Opulent Self. Angie, just a few words about where you are now. So Angie did the Your Opulent Self in July. She decided decided, didn't know, you know, like, you know, whether, like, about the money, she just, she, you know, paid out and decided to jump on board for the Your Two Minds one-year program. Angie, let us know how much you've got in less than, was has it been six weeks? Let us know. Like, this woman is just flying. San, Sanjiwani said, I have made a decision. That's so great. Alton, I am. Winners make decisions and rarely change their minds, Colette says. So this is so important that I have given you, gifted you all, one of my favourite Bob, Bob Proctor articles on decisions. He says, he starts this article with, once you make the decision, you will find the money every time. We are so conditioned to think that money is out there, there's not enough. And that's why you will never, ever win, right? Because you're starting from a lack mentality. You haven't ta been taught how to make a decision. Once you make the decision, you'll find the money every single time. And he says, decisions or lack of them are responsible for breaking or making of many a career. Individuals who become very proficient at making 
decisions without being influenced by the opinions of others are the same people whose annual incomes fall into the six and seven figure categories. Do you want to earn six to seven figures or more? I've told you just in the past 12 months, four people and the fifth one is on her way have made their first million from lack. Okay? Do you want to be one of those? Do you want to be one of those? Every single one of these five people made a decision and they decided to jump on board with my 12-month coaching program. And most of them did not have the money and did not know where it was going to come from. And so that's five. Other clients uh, have gone from five to six figures, some high six figures. And there's been two clients that have gone from their seven-figure business, it now is an eight-figure business. As I said to you, I am brilliant at what I do. That's why I'm one of the best. That's why I've been invited by Bob Proctor himself to train his staff. I'm not probably not good as half as what you do. I'm probably, sorry, I'm probably not as good as half of the things that you do. You know, absolutely not. We've got, we've all got our individual gifts. But if you are serious about changing your life, if you are serious about the things that you want, then I can help you get there. And I know that for sure because evidence shows it is so. How serious are you? Are you really making a decision or are you living with your excuses? Because every single person that has shared a testimonial about my the working with me and your two minds and my team made a decision to jump even though the decision felt really, really, really uncomfortable. So where are you going to sit? Are you going to sit with the winners or are you going to sit with same old, same old? Because one thing we know, you now have the information, but one thing we know is paradigms are insidious and they will control you unless you know and you're guided and supported to control them. So have you made a decision? This is the most important session. Why? Because the universe loves order. Nothing that I coach you through is what I have made up. Nothing that I suggest to you have I not ever applied in my life or currently am I I'm applying it. Okay, so I'm not going to suggest anything that I haven't done in my own life or that I'm not currently doing that's working. And this stuff works. What I do to support you works. Why? Because it is either based on evidence, all of it's based on evidence, and it's based on universal law. Now, if you don't understand yourself and how your mind works and the basics of universal law, I can absolutely guarantee that you are at a disadvantage. Why? Because the laws work 100% of the time, whether you are ignorant or not. So if you are ignorant of the power within you and how to tap into it and how the laws work, you are very likely to be doing yourself a disservice. Just like this pen, well, just like this pen okay, I've got a pen here. 
law of gravity. I have no idea how the law of gravity works. I don't even know what it is. All I know is 100% of the time, if I let go of this pen, what's going to happen? Will it rise? No. Will it float? No. 100% of the time, it drops. 100% of the time, right? Now, if a baby was on a balcony that's five stories high and there was no railing on the balcony and the baby was ignorant of the law of gravity or universal laws, and the baby went over, will it float because it's ignorant? No. It too will drop. So these laws work 100% of the time. Why is this important to you and your dream? Because if you don't understand yourself, they are probably working against you. If you do not get help, to change your paradigms, you are likely to be in the same place this time next year and the year after and the year after and the year after. How do I know that? Because I was just like you. I was going out seeing what I can get for free and I was learning and reading books and everything and, you know, and I was feeling good and I knew a lot of information and, yes, there were some changes in my life. Yes, I just ended up getting senior management roles that I didn't even want. I just, you know, I just purchased a new property and then my salary would go up, like things like that. But the thing that I really wanted, the things that I really wanted, a beautiful, loving relationship, a business that makes global impact doing my gift, Money, a million seven-figure business, money just flooding in. Okay, these are the things, you know, having the lifestyle that I wanted, don't get me wrong, I had a good lifestyle, but it wasn't that deep, deep, deep desire. You know that deep desire that I'm talking about? Tell me yes if you understand. Tell me yes. Tell me, tell me, tell me yes if you understand what I'm talking about. And it wasn't until I jumped. And remember, I told you that I left work 31st of Jan 2017. And guess what? I was $500,000 in debt. $500,000 in debt. And I jumped cold turkey. Never was I out of a job. Every my life, I was working since I was 18 right? So there was paycheck after paycheck. There was probably about six weeks, a month, six weeks after I came back from Japan until I found another job here. But apart from that, I was never out of work, ever. And I knew that I just had to jump. And when I jumped, I knew I had to get support, the right support from the best in the world to change my paradigms. Otherwise, I would go back to where I always was and this time I promised myself it would be different. Now, you might relate to my story, okay? I wanted to leave work for many, many, many years. I had a great job, great company. But for years, but it just wasn't for me. So I'd be on automatic pilot. And you know that feeling that you get on a Saturday, Sunday evening? Ooh, you have to go to work. You know that, just that feeling. Then you wake up on Monday and you're just, you're not bright and, and happy about the day. You're like, oh, my God, I have to go to work. I was sick and tired of living that way. But the only reason I stayed in my job, guess what my reason was? Not because I was in debt but because I was afraid of what other people would say. I was afraid, even though I was in my 40s, I was afraid of what my parents would say. <laughs> I was afraid what my boss would say and disappointing, you know, and, you know, thinking that they were crazy, that 
I was crazy and what some of my friends and society would say. I mean, who does that, right? Leave a six-figure job when they're $500,000 in debt and, there's, and they, they try to work it out. But you know what? If I wasn't brave, if I did not make a decision to never go back, no matter how hard it was, if I did not make a decision to invest $30,000 when I was $500,000 in debt, it was good debt from mortgage debt, but it was still debt. If I did not make a decision, none of us would be here now. None of us. So because one crazy woman was brave enough to jump and make the changes and make the investment in herself during a time when she was $500,000 in debt, there would be no international organisation now. You and I would not be together now. I would not have made the impact and the changes to thousands of people around the world. Now, this is not meant to be about me. This is about you. So I ask you the question, where are you at now? Are you going to be like I was for years and years, stuck in? And I don't like that word stuck anymore, but it felt like, and I was stuck because I didn't know the way out until I jumped what a waste of time. Are you going to make a decision? Are you, going to, are you going to live your life based on other people's opinions, based on your fear, or are you going to say enough is enough and I'm going to jump and I'm going to do this and I'm going to invest in myself and I'm going to work with Susanna for one whole year. It's meant to be six months, but I give you six months for free. And I'm going to make the change. Joe, put the link up for people to see if they want to join us and make the real permanent change in their lives. You can click on the link and you can join today. Or you can talk to your success advisor. Those that jump and make a decision, magic happens. And I see it over and over and over again. So why? Because the universe, universal law, the first law is order. If you do not make a decision, nothing can happen. The universe conspires to help a person that has made a decision. And the decision means that you are acting. You are taking action that feels uncomfortable to you. And nature abhors a vacuum. If you leave this masterclass, without making a decision, what happens is there's a gap, right? There's a gap. And, and nature does not like gaps. There's no gaps in the universe. They don't exist. So what happens automatically, something will come in. And if it's based on your subconscious, okay, it probably won't give you the results that you want. So you want to be in control of you. You want to be the one that's making the decisions for your life. Who gets me? Let me know. Give me a hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah if you get me. So a true decision means that it is done. It's done. That's it. That's it. Who has made a decision? It is done. Let me know. I want to see. It is done. It is done. Who? Hell yeah, Dre says. Hell yeah. Dre has made a decision. It is done. He's doing this. Hell yeah, Tiffany says. These are our winners. Kylie already made a decision. Kylie joined us at the last Your Opulent Self. Kylie, what's your life like now within, I don't know, has it been six weeks, two months, or however it's been? Just something. Write it, tell people something about you. How has it been? And what a, what a legend. Hell yeah. Absolutely, Anne. So a true decision means that it is done, okay? What has your decision-making been like in the past? I just want you to reflect on that. What has your decision-making been 
like in the past? Have you, have you, you know, were you like me where I would go and ask other people or would I trust myself? And even when it's scary, you make that decision. For years, I spent years, what, what do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? But when I made that decision based on myself, based on my own intuition, that is the point where the magic happened. Even though I was the most in debt I ever, ever was, nothing ever happens. Nothing ever happens unless you jump. You see, last week I was telling my clients the story of skydiving. Who has been skydiving here? If you have, you would have probably experienced it just like me. So you book, you're like, yes, I want to do skydiving. And you book. And once you've booked, you're like, oh, my God. And it's usually a few months away. So you kind of forget about it. You force yourself to forget about it. And then one week before you go skydiving, for me at least, I started to think about it at night and I started to lose sleep and I was thinking, oh, my God, what are we doing? What are we doing? And then the night before it was like no sleep at all, like, oh, what are we doing? And that feeling then you you know go to to the place where they do the skydives and you're just like oh my god and the fear is creeping in and then they show you the the parachute and you're like oh my god I hope it works and when you when you move into the plane and the plane takes off that fear is the worst fear that I've ever felt and I don't like heights right and it's up and up and up it goes up and I remember looking down and I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't realise it was so high. And I have not felt that fear ever, 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 ever in my life. And that was at the point where I was the safest. You know, planes are pretty safe, right? And at that time, every single part of me wanted to stay in the plane and I was thinking, I can't do this. I just have to stay in here. But I knew if I didn't, I would never do it. So then it was my turn to jump. So I just jumped. And it was just before I jumped, fear like I've never, ever felt fear before. And then as you jump and you're just dropping, dropping, dropping so quickly, that, that is the point where you are the most in danger as you're dropping. But my fear turned into absolute exhilaration, absolute exhilaration. It is an experience that I will never, ever be able to describe in words. The scenery, the ocean, you know, the, the just the beauty, the, the, the feeling that I've had was never, ever, ever anything. So unless you do the uncomfortable, unless you make a decision to jump like I did in those examples, like my clients did when they had no money and they became millionaires within 12 months, unless you make a decision at the point at the point where you're the most scared, where you're the most vulnerable, you will never, ever experience the other side. If I stayed in the plane of comfort, of safety, I would never have experienced the exhilaration, the beauty, the power, If I did not jump 31st of January 2017, and it was not easy the first six months. I'm not going to say I just left work and it all came together. First six months, year, boy, my paradigms were really holding me back. But I kept going and I kept going. And because one woman was crazy enough to make a decision and jump, 
We are all here together right now. And this is just the beginning. It's the beginning for you and it's the beginning for me. What do you want for your life? What do you want? You see, there's no coincidence that you and I have come together, that this community that we are has come together so beautifully. I don't believe in coincidences. I know from the work that I do, nothing is by coincidence. And I know because I've seen it over and over and over again, what's waiting for you on the other side. You can't see that yet. You can't see that yet because you haven't jumped. What is it for you? What is it for you? For me, ever since I was a child, it was being here with all of you, helping you break through. That's me. But what about you? What about the most person in the world, the most important person in the world? What about you? What is it that you want? What is it that you want? Kylie says, after about two months, there are many changes that are happening within me. It is exciting to imagine what the future is going to look like. And I tell you right now, Kylie has not even scratched the surface of the surface of the surface. She has totally opened up and she is about to flourish. Now you have a choice. You can join Kylie and the others or you can stay where you are. Totally up to you. We love you anyway. We love you anyway. I want you to really think about what your decision making in the past has been or up until now because this is a point where you can change it, right? Even if you've been the crappiest decision maker, maker ever, be honest with yourself, okay? Because the honesty is what's going to help the change, right? Be honest with yourself, even if it's uncomfortable. Be honest with yourself. And, and ask yourself, how do I want to be? How do I want to be? Because you've got an opportunity right now to make that change. So... I'm going to just read and please read this and reread the decision making article. So I'm just going to read something from our greatest teacher alive who says, No one can see you making decisions, but they will always, but they will almost always see the results of your decisions. I'm going to repeat that. No one can see you making decisions, but they will almost always see the results of your decision. The person who fails to develop their ability to make decisions is doomed because indecision sets up internal conflicts which can, without warning, escalate into all-out mental and emotional wars. So are you going to be a winner? Are you going to learn how to make decisions quickly? Or are you going to continue to live the way you've always lived? This is an opportunity for you to open up to greater possibilities. Nobody can see you making decisions, but they will almost always see the results of your decision. Us being together today is a decision, is based on a decision that was made four and a half years ago, more than four and a half years ago now, coming up to five years ago, of a woman that gave up a six-figure job when she was $500,000 in debt. And she got herself even more debt that year, but you know what? It has paid off. It has paid off. What decision will you make for your life? That is the question. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please come back tomorrow. Please connect with your success advisor. Joe has put the link in. Um, please jump on board. 
you will not know yourself by the end of the year. I promise you that. You will not know yourself. But jump on board tomorrow, okay? And then on the weekend, we have some very, very, very special people that we would love for you to meet. Reach out. We are here to support you. If you haven't sent in your self-image script, please do send it in if you would like me to have a look at it. I don't normally do that, um, but I will do that for you. And let's do this together. Stay blessed. And I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.